Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our RimWorld Warhammer 40k Let's Play. So, uh, there's been a little bit of time passage between episodes. I've gotten everybody back to base and delivered all the prisoners. It did work out better doing it the way that we did in the previous episode, where uh, I didn't load everybody into the APC. We had um, like a walking escort for the prisoners and then just one person to actually drive it. And when we arrived, I was actually able to just take them right to bed instead of having to fight them again to get them into our prison. So definitely better to do it that way, although obviously that does slow down our movement significantly. Uh, we've been lucky in terms of food. There was a um, first a Manhunter pack of grizzly bears that we dealt with. I think Liara was the only person injured. Um, she got scratched up a little bit, but she's healed now. Uh, she's also naked. Why is she naked? Um, oh, because she... Uh, I took her armor off, and I think it's on the ground somewhere. Where's your armor? There it is. I took her armor off because I was trying to get her to go pick up this one. So hopefully she'll do that eventually. Um, also, I'm having weird UI issues. Uh, this was happening in the Star Wars playthrough. It didn't happen in our last episode, but apparently it's a thing now. Anyways, um, let's make sure she's... Damn it. She's assigned to the right thing. So yeah, she is set to guardsman. She should go pick up any armor available under that assignment, which should be... Uh, where is it? This set of flak armor. So hopefully she goes and does that, and I will unforbid these. Um... But the reason I took it off is because she had the most damaged flak armor. It's at 69%, so I figured I'd give her the new one and get this one patched up, and then somebody can take this, and we'll keep swapping. Uh, what else? We are continuing to work on our mortar area here. I've moved the first mortar in. That one's actually ceramite, so this one's going to be pretty durable. Oh, I almost made a huge mistake here. I set these blueprints up as uh, I just copied them. And so we almost wasted more ceramite on building those. I actually didn't need to do that. I could have just done the regular steel ones. Yeah, 150 steel. That's way better. So we're going to put them in like this. And I've got shelves next to each one for you know a couple of shells to be stored. Uh, I'm going to forbid these two so that we build that one. But these don't need to be done right away. I don't need four up and running. So, uh, we have this little area open to the air so that the mortars can fire out of it. But the rest is roofed off. And I have a couple of, like, storerooms set up. This is embrasured because I was trying to think ahead and kind of um, figure out any issues that we could come across with this little setup. And because this is unroofed, enemies can drop in here although technically with a thin roof they could just smash right through anyways and they have but because this is unroofed and it is a big area that they could land in i figured i would embrace this that way if they do spawn in here or you know drop pod in or whatever we can set up there and just blast them so at least we're kind of protected uh, i don't know if i'm going to door this off but this will be a storage area this is also going to be a storage area I was considering maybe housing some people down here, but I don't want to have to worry about more air conditioning. It's already a pain enough to manage it in the larger base area. And while the temperature is pretty mild outside right now, it's generally not going to stay that way. So I didn't want to have to worry about making this more habitable. So I think it's just going to be storage, but I, I did consider maybe housing like two people down here just so that I always had somebody on standby for this stuff. But I think we'll be fine. I think somebody running from like here or here probably isn't going to take that long. So it'll be all right. Then uh, we're mining these out. Once they're set up, I'm going to mine out the exterior one and we'll have double layered embrasures with a little room here, like a two by two room for people to fire out of it. But I'm going to be strategic about the embrasures. I don't think I'm going to embrasure this side so that these are only going to be firing in like that direction or forward. But I don't want them firing this way. I don't want them firing across our defensive line. So they'll only be able to really fire out maybe that far this way, but then pretty far out this way. 
Uh, and same goes for this one, because I don't want them firing into each other or anything like that. So I may have to limit this one's field of fire on this side a bit, just so they're not shooting through. Because we've seen that with these pillboxes, is they'll actually fire straight down the line and hit the other people in the other pillboxes. So we don't want that. But we'll have them set up, and I'm going to double layer the doors so that if, for whatever reason, something manages to break through here, it's not going to completely compromise this area until they break through at least two more steel doors or whatever. And uh, I'm just mining this out now because eventually it's going to be gone anyways, so yeah. So there's that. Uh, what else? We are making more progress over here. I'm getting ready to turn this into a little hallway that connects us to this part. And I think that's pretty much it. We still need to assign work for the new prisoners, so maybe we should do that now. Let's see. Uh, I think these are the new three. Larry, Lazy, and... Sajaki? They must be the new ones. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I should have kept better track, but I'm pretty sure they're new. It's been a few days since I've recorded, so I've forgotten their names, but I'm fairly certain there was three of them, and since these guys are at the bottom, it must be them. All right, doctoring. Really don't want you doctoring. What can you guys do? You can cook, but that's not going to help you in our prison. Uh, we have somebody that can craft, or at least that enjoys crafting. So, let's have, yeah, mining on three. I'm going to put your crafting on two. But I think we'll probably have you, like, cutting stone or something. Actually, you won't gain XP for that, so that's kind of a waste. Construction, not really going to help you in the base. Um, I think mining is going to be your main job. And then, let's see, cooking. I'll leave his cooking at three, but he's never going to cook. We'll take yours off completely. Uh, construction, we'll set that to three, I guess, but you're never going to end up doing it. Growing, not in this base. In our Star Wars base, we have accommodations. Actually, in both of our other bases, we've planned it so that our prisoners can grow. But I made, or I set up this prison before I tweaked the mod to allow me to do this. So that's why um, we don't have anywhere for them to grow here. So I think, yeah, just mining is going to be your main job. But mining is always helpful, so there we go. And then we had a Xenotech Rogue Trader. That's the main reason why I chose to start the episode here, because I wanted to see what they had, uh, because the Rogue Traders, of course, are the ones that sell Gene Seed. And I want to see if they, A, have any, B, what the price is, and C, how much further we need to go to get there. Uh, we have 22,000 silver right now. I was able to get a little bit more, I don't know if it ever got hauled, but we had a trader here. I don't know if they were here at the end of last episode or if that happened between, but we had a trader here. I bought a little bit more Glitter World Medicine. I think I got like two, and they were like 125 each or something. But I got two Glitter World Medicine, 25 to 30 components, and then I gave them enough Plasteel to cover that cost plus... All of the extra silver they had, which I think they were carrying about 750 silver on them. So it, I think it ended up being just under 300 Plasteel that we gave away. But I haven't really been using it for much. I have almost 2,000, and we were over 2,000 before that deal. So I think overall it worked out just fine. Um, but anyways, yeah, we've got a bit more silver that way. And let's see. <sighs> Do you have any gene seed? It doesn't look like it. Ooh, a Reaper auto cannon. Uh, that's that's a heretical weapon, though. We can't use it. A lot of Tau stuff. A couple of executioners, which I don't really need. Elder Wit Eldar Witchblade. Some Tau honor blades. More resources. So, got a lot of silver, but I don't know how much I need. Wow, that is expensive. We paid like half that for the Glitter World we got. Yeah, no Gene Seed, though. And the stuff that I want that they have is way overpriced. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to buy anything from these guys. I could sell them some of my resources. I haven't been using the Prometheum for a whole lot. And so I could use that to get more silver. Let's see. If I sold you, like, 
300 of each. That would get me an extra 7,000. That might be worth doing. I could go in more, but this stuff is useful. I don't want to get rid of it entirely, but I can always get more. It's somewhat renewable. I mean, we might have tapped out our little map here, but there are other ways to come by it. So, is that worth doing? I think so. Because I believe the gene seed was somewhere in the ballpark of like 40,000 silver. And so, I'm pretty sure we're not there yet. And it would be worth getting ourselves a little bit closer, I believe. And we have a lot of this stuff, especially the Prometheum, which we're not, again, really using. So let's do that. And they'll drop in the silver right there. That's a lot of silver. We're going to need to find a new place to store it. This is getting a little bit full. Actually, it's going to be full before we get all that in there. But anyways, there's some more silver. That gets us almost to 30,000. How are we doing with our walls down here? It looks like we're doing okay. Ooh, cargo pods. Free delivery, what do we get? Uh, some Cobra Flash, okay, fine. We can use that. And let's see, how are we doing on meals? We were a little bit behind for a while because we had a bunch of different things messing with our, our food supply. But I think we've recovered. I think we've had at least one full rice harvest since then and then obviously all the animals that we came by really helped um, I hope they get these bears inside before they go bad or they're going to spoil in a day also you may have noticed there's gazelles all over my base what happened was we had a gazelle uh, oh is she finally not going to put that armor on okay Liara oh you did put armor on did you take the same one Ah, this stupid UI bug. There we go. There's the sweet spot. Um, okay, she took the one that was repaired. Good. Good on you. And this one, if the UI will return to me. God, that's so annoying. There's something in here that's causing the issue, but I don't know what it is. Okay, I need to pan slightly. Oh, this is going to be so frustrating. Come on. Oh, I had it for a second. But I can't click on it up there. What is causing this? I know it's not my retexture stuff because it's happening in the Star Wars playthrough too and I haven't really messed with that mod at all. But I can't click on this. No matter where I put it. It's gotta be one of these mods. It, it could very well be the Yes Vehicles table because that is not um, meant to work for this version. But anyways, the reason why there are gazelle all over the base is because we had a gazelle migration happen uh, and they started down here some of them went around and some of them walked into this door and just like got stuck right here then what happened is one of the gazelles self-tamed and that allowed it to pass through the doors and so when it walked through the doors the rest followed but because it wandered into our base these guys couldn't get through the other door and so they're just stuck in here so what I'm going to do is just kind of leave them there. I figure eventually... Did that one just... Something's happening right here. Right here. Stuff is like disappearing. Or something. Uh, but that one, I tried to click on and then it like... Oh, I think this was the camel that was like starving. It can't seem to find its way outside to the kibble. So it probably passed out from starvation and then we took it there and fed it. Anyways, oh, we need to fill this in real quick before I forget to do that. There we go. Let's forbid these until the corners get built, and then we'll let them get thrown in there. Uh, I'm going to leave them here, and I might kill them off slowly. I could try to let them starve to death, but I'm worried that they're going to start stealing our food before that happens. Uh, I don't think they're going to let themselves starve. So I need to find a better way to handle this. I also need to find a way that allows me to... Oh, yeah. I think that one's going to go eat some food. Don't eat my pemmican, you bastard. Okay, so far just wandering. But I'm worried that if I leave them in here too long, they will start doing that. So we're going to kind of hunt them inside our base. I really hope we don't get a 
gazelle revenge or anything, because we will be in so much trouble. Okay, Zarena just, like, let loose into one inside the base. It's going to create a huge mess, but at least we've got them, like, captive. They can't get away, so... We can hunt them very slowly. Uh, did all the grizzly bears make it? There's still two out there. Alright, we're doing pretty well over here. All of this needs to be embrasured. Actually, that probably shouldn't be. Let's start the embrasure... Like here. We'll just have it wrap part way around. And then the rest of this will just be regular walls. I hope that prevents friendly fire. But we'll see. Friendly fire is very difficult to avoid in this game. Or at least it can be. And let's see here. I think I want that to be a wall. That should be a wall. And I will embrasure this, although I may end up regretting that. And that looks pretty good. Uh, it's not pause. Gorilla, what's taking you so long there? I think he just kind of froze up. Alright, so there's that. Then I think what we'll do is... Let's look at our doors. Uh, that would be under structures. I don't know why I always have such a hard time with that. Steel doors, and we'll just kind of layer them in right there and right here. And I will mine that out and replace it with proper walls. Remy failed to calm Morgan down. What's Morgan's deal? She's just wandering. That's fine. As long as she's not causing any trouble. That's where I draw the line. Okay. And so, I am really trying to get us some gene seed. Also, why is our base so warm? We've got plenty of power. All of our AC units are running. We need more of them. But I don't know where I can put them in. Maybe I'll do something here. That might work. Oh good, we also finished this. Uh, yeah, we need to double that up. There we go. That will be the end of our building over here, so all the rest of our construction is probably going to happen there. But main focus is moving forward is going to be the gene seed, which of course we can't really help that. I'm just continu continually trying to accumulate more and more silver to make that happen. Wait, I thought I built this. Did I not build this? That's the 40 millimeter. I'm thinking this is the 120. Yeah. Thinking of the wrong cannon. Anyways, I'm continually trying to accumulate more and more silver to get us closer to that goal. And then, uh, beyond that, what I'd like to do is start being a lot more aggressive toward the enemy factions on the map. So, basically, going and start taking on some of the enemy bases. Especially, uh, like, the Herodney 13th that was more or less right on top of us. They're going to be our first target, obviously. Yeah, see, Zima just disappeared. And then, that's so weird. i got to figure out what's causing that. Because it is incredibly annoying. Uh, I think that was the last of the bears. Nope, one left. Uh, what are you guys up to? You're going to go dig at something there? When you're done eating, do you think you could haul this? Oh, Hovel's already on it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what are we at with our research? Or where are we at is probably a better question. Uh, oh. What happened to... I wonder if that mod got updated. I think that was the only mod I'm running that isn't a manual install at this point. So, I'll have to go find a manual install version of it. That might be what's causing the issue. This is because I... This is my mistake right here. I retextured these, and so that texture is probably named wrong or something. We're still working on the Astartes augments, though, and it looks like we're a little over a quarter of the way there. So we'll get there eventually. That is probably the longest project we'll end up doing. 20,000 points. So yeah, that's going to take us quite a while. Uh, oh, wow, you guys made really quick progress over here. Ah, why won't it let me click on this? There we go. Fill these in, please. And these don't need to be forbidden anymore. I just forbade them so that we could get this filled in. I wanted it to be solid and not have a gap there. Let's get all of that moved. 
and we're gonna want a little bit of a wall here question is how far I think we'll do wall there and then we'll do embrasure along this and then a bit here maybe even all the way around over here no I won't do it there because that's where the door is gonna be but embrasure there at the very least let's forbid these so that the corners get built and not ignored we'll do the same here and that's an embrasure that's also embrasure I just want wall right there then we can mine the rest of this out fill that in with walls and we'll just copy and paste some of these doors here and here and I haven't decided what I want to do with the floors yet I think what I'm gonna do is maybe just make the whole thing a concrete floor I could also just smooth the stone that's also an option and actually that might be the better option it's gonna take a lot longer but it won't cost me any resources just labor and hold on here let's do these before I forget so clear everything and the only thing allowed here is gonna be mortar shells and we'll have to copy and paste that to all of these shelving units um, so the smooth floors will cost me no resources only labor they're also a much higher beauty rating than concrete is I think concrete's actually a negative one beauty or um, smooth stone is like a plus two or something so that might help offset a lot of the ugly military stuff we're gonna be putting in here because if we have like sandbags or something those are considered ugly and so that could help it'll also save me steel not that we necessarily need to save steel but it's never good to waste any resources so if we don't have to we won't put any steel down and in this case I don't think we do I think it makes plenty of sense to just go ahead and smooth them out my only concern with that is that it does take a really long time so we'll see but I'm gonna go ahead and just queue that up and we'll start with oh Morgan finally finished her mental break we'll start with this area right here I think I'm going to carry the hex paving out this way though actually cancel that you know cancel all three of those instead what I'll do is in regular floors I'm gonna do steel grating since this is kind of a transition between inside and outside I think that makes perfect sense there right so this is all done I don't know what I'm gonna do with this area here actually I think I do I was going to this is gonna be an Imperial Shrine there's no question about that I was going to make it also sort of like a mausoleum but I think what I'm gonna do is separate them and I'm wondering if I should have been using these three steel versus five steel they are cheaper and I wonder if there's buggy I get the feeling they're probably not as buggy also this is probably going to go away because we don't need that um, there anymore necessarily I don't think it's really serving a purpose at this point um, I don't like how that played out why won't it let me click on this stuff oh that's so frustrating there we go cancel that please build this copy there I think that's more correct anyway I don't know it's good enough it's good enough I try to do them every two but a lot of times it doesn't cooperate or work out that way but it's fine just do something like that we need it lit in here and we should carry the conduits through on this side as well and we actually need to oh I can't run that up there well then run it across here at the very least why did it do that and run it through here so we'll link them up wherever we can and this can actually wrap all the way around now I don't know if they're gonna need power in here we'll have some lights but it's gonna be minimal I don't want to set this up too too much because it is an outdoor space come on there we go yeah I gotta figure out what this UI issue is because it's driving me nuts like there's things even when the UI is showing there's things I just can't click on anyways uh, what happened 
They're afraid of volcanic winter. Um, I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, we got visitors. It's a small group. It looks like it's small enough where they'll have enough beds. I think we actually, yeah, six and six. Perfect. That worked out well. Let's see. Guest. Try to entertain, not try to recruit. And that is the default, I believe. Yeah. Where are they from? Aston League. Okay, yeah. We don't want to try to steal their people away because they're the closest thing we have to an ally. So we'll just leave them be for now. Uh, that got done pretty quick. Let's unforbid those. Let's get these hauled out of the way. Then let's look at some granite flooring in here. Oh, we're actually running low on granite. Are we not cutting enough granite up here? What's going on? Uh, looks like it's all limestone. Uh, I see what's going on here. We're not getting limestone to the prisoner. Or prisoners. So let's see. I'm going to say no more limestone chunks in here and they should get moved. We'll have to remember to toggle that back when we need it. But we have a lot of limestone blocks stockpiled. We're actually using more granite at this point because we're not building a lot of walls. Well, I mean, we are. We are. But... We're building a lot more floors than walls, so we need more granite right now, and obviously we have plenty of limestone for the foreseeable future. This is all mostly limestone out here as well. There is some marble, but we're not using marble as building material. Okay, so while they work, let's jump out to the world map and take a look at a few things. I think our first target is going to be Strike Base Delta 7, held by the Haradni 13. Uh, they also hold Delta-6 out here, but we can't forget about this either. So, this is clearly our first target. It's right on top of us. From there, I think we'll continue to attack them and go after this one. Beyond that, we may want to look at going after this Tau Firebase. There's also the Dark Bangers right here who have been kind of a thorn in our side, but I don't want to attack them if I don't have to, because they are one of our best sources of recruits. Every time they throw people at us, we capture them, and that's how we build our colony up, so I, I prefer not to do that. We also have these outposts, but I'm less concerned about them, although this is a nice little bit of silver, so it might be worth doing that just for the silver, and then there's also the Bealtan Eldar out here. And clearly there's plenty more uh, 40k enemy factions to attack. There's also uh, some Death Guard there and some Orcs out here. But I don't know if we're ready to take on Chaos Space Marines yet. I think we could probably handle them if they attacked us. Because we have obviously some very big static weapons. Um, turrets and all that. However, um, we can't exactly take those with us if we assault them. So I don't know where we'd be at there. I think we probably want to have our own Space Marines first before we take the fight to them. By the way, the Volcanic Winter is not hurting us nearly as much as I thought. Now, it probably could get a lot worse, but our generators are working at fairly high capacity. Uh, their normal output is, I think, 1700 watts. And they're doing almost 1,500 right now, so we're only losing a, a small fraction of what we could be doing. It's somewhere a little over 10, it's probably about 15%. So we're running at about 85% capacity. Not as bad as I was expecting, by any means. <sighs> okay. Okay. I am really looking forward to getting to test this. By the way, uh, I completely forgot to mention this. Since this is outside of our little firing line here, I took out one of the chain link fences and replaced it with a fence gate so that somebody can hop the sandbags here and go out that way. The enemy is probably not going to bother to come up here and attack. Generally, they go for the doors. So I think we're all right. But, you know, any... Any, uh... Raid could prove me wrong there, so I guess we'll see. What else? What else? What else? We need to start expanding this, I think. Let's build that out to there. 
And then we need to do it on this side as well. So let's do something like this. And I have to figure out how I want to handle this mess. But I do want to connect it here and then try to turn this whole thing into an, into an interior space. Luckily, I can build walls all the way up to there. And we'll probably have to move this move this corpse pile because I'd like to make this nice and flat and wall it off completely. I don't know that I want to have any exits over here. I think I'd rather force them to exit on this side because any entrance I put over here, entrance or exit, is going to draw enemy attention. And I don't want to do that because I don't have defenses set up to guard it. I have defenses set up to guard this entrance. So that's where I want to be directing enemies. But we'll see. Um, it looks like they got some of the shells down here. I don't know how well we're going to be able to kind of organize this, but I'd like to have everybody with some standard. I think we have... HE is standard. At least I'm going to call it standard. Uh, we have more incendiary. I don't really care which ones they're using between those, but I don't want to have a bunch of like EMP and fire foam shells down here necessarily because that's not something we want to be firing at the enemy unless you know we're in like a very specific circumstance, like maybe an EMP shell against Necrons or something. But otherwise, that's not the ideal ammunition that we should be using. Okay, so there is the end of those walls. I don't know, again, if I'm going to door these off or not, but we'll see. Bragg's building some conduits for us. Uh, did that thing just bash its way through? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Graith, do me a favor and shoot this thing real quick. It's It literally headbutted its way through a wall. I don't know why it didn't just walk out. You were so bad. All right, well, it finally walked out. Whatever. At least it's not destroying my... Oh, it did destroy it. Well, crap. Um, structures. Steel door. Let's get that replaced. And I can't believe it punched away th its way through here. How many walls did it headbutt through to get out? A couple, apparently. Because <laughs> that was walled in. Um... A lot of them are sleeping. Well, there we go. I was going to say, well, let me mark them all for hunting at once. Let's get them all hunted. I don't want more of that taking place. I, again, don't want them nibbling on my pemmican either. It doesn't look like they have, but it is possible. I haven't been watching it that closely. We can always make more, though. We've got a lot of dead animals in here. And we did get all the bears inside. So between all the bears and the gazelles that we got before, plus all of these ones, I think we'll be just fine on meat for a while. The question is, can we get enough rice to keep up? Also, how is our wood supply? I haven't noticed a lot of wood coming in. Yeah, we don't have any right now. Which is an issue. When are you guys going to... Oh, pretty soon, actually. But, yeah, I need wood for furniture. And... We are completely out, so hopefully we can get this harvested relatively quickly and get, first of all, these beds done, but also I want to put furniture in their rooms just as I've done with these rooms. You're not attacking that, are you? Good. Good, good, good. Uh, why is that outdoors? Hold on a second. Did a gazelle punch out through a wall somewhere? I wouldn't be surprised if they did. I think everything is roofed. Hmm. Uh, it looks like they did destroy a door right there, so let's rebuild that. But why is this considered outdoors? That's really concerning. Huh. Ah, I know why. Because this door got destroyed, and this wall got destroyed, and that wall got destroyed. So this, the air is flowing in here, through there, and that way. 
All right. So at least we figured out... Oh, and here. Oh my god, this thing tunneled its way through my base. And I can't click on anything here. Come on, game. Just let me... Did it break down her... How many doors did this thing destroy? All right, these gazelle have to go. And I need to be able to click on a door. You know what? Screw it. Steel door. Uh, I think these are steel doors. There we go. Um, luckily, it didn't destroy the conduits. Limestone wall there. Limestone walls are already set up there. Oh, it even got this one. What the hell? This thing was just pissed off or something. A lot of this doesn't even make sense. Like, why Why would it take the route that it took? There was no way out through here. <laughs> and there, like, where did it come in? Did it come in here? And then, like, smash through? Like, I don't understand. Maybe it followed somebody in here and then had to, like, smash its way out or something? But it still doesn't explain why there's one on each side. No, there's three. So it basically just smashed a piece of structure in every direction in this room. Weird, very weird. And then Cashin's door got kicked down or headbutted down for some reason. Uh, is that it? Hopefully that's it. We'll see though. Um, but yeah, we got to get rid of these guys. I didn't mean to do this, by the way. Um, I, as I explained before, it just kind of happened. I didn't try to lure them in. Uh, they just kind of ran into my door and then one self-tamed and let them all in. So yeah, this was not at all intentional. But here we are. Oh, I'm going to need to make this thicker. I don't like having just a single block there. Not that they can't technically get through there, so even if they attack this one, they can't squeeze through that, but I still like to have them double thick. So I, al I also don't like having rough stone facing into the base. So that'll need to get replaced, that'll need to get replaced. I might just mine this whole thing out really quickly and then fill it in too thick on a diagonal. And then we'll bring this across. I'm probably just going to do it all the way to here. That might be the easiest way to go about it. And then we'll continue this. I'll probably do it something like that just to maximize the space we have here because this is kind of awkward as it is now. And we'll use the exterior walls where possible, but obviously I'm going to mine it out and give us a nice clean interior wall with the limestone. And we'll see where to go from there. I think that's where I'm going to end it for today, though. So in the next episode, I think we're going to go ahead and attack the Harodni. Are you serious right now? Garvel, whip your weapon out. Kill that thing. And then I need to build another door. Because these guys are just trashing our base right now. Come on, kill it. There you go. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Garvel, um, undraft. And then haul that, please. Alright, well there's one less gazelle smashing up my base. And I wonder if they're doing it because they're fleeing. There's not that many left, so I think we'll be rid of them soon enough. Anyways, that's where I'll end it for today. In the next episode, I would really like to go attack the Harodni 13th, so we'll try to do that unless uh, we get raided or something, and that prevents us from doing it. But uh, otherwise, expect to see that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some RimWorld with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.